Well, our next guest is no stranger to the comedy world. He's been referred to as a hot comic to watch and one of the top five comedy performers. No, I know. He's no stranger to the morning blend either, right here. I know. Back on the couch for Funny Bone Fridays, Michael Malone. Hey, Welcome. What's going on, guys? Well, you may have just seen that we had Ballet Nebraska. Uh, I saw I almost you see, what the you same think of outfit. The I was uh, so embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you changed really quick. Well, have you ever done the Fosse? No, I've never done the Fosse. Neither did I until just a few weeks ago. Do you want to try? How'd it look? I'm okay. Are you sure? Think I'm about it. Think about I'll it. think about it. We'll, okay. Yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah. Well, I just thought it was interesting we had ballet on right before because I actually read a quote about you from AXS Magazine. Uh -huh. Malone is I as engaging as perfectly choreographed ballet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, that was from my album uh, 31, yeah. I yeah. think you need to do some twirls for us. If people are talking about you in ballet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think they're actually I don't think, yeah, ballet. I, think it's kind of like a, I just uh, wanted to see him dance. <laughs> Dance. Uh, so what have you been up to? You got a new album coming out though, right? Yep, it just came out on Tuesday. It's called Live from Tucson, and it's uh, really fun. I was trying to like go for, um, you know, those old uh, those old albums from the 70s where mm -hmm. like Richard Pryor and Steve Martin, where it yeah. feels like you're actually in the audience. You know, they yeah. kept mm -hmm. all the mistakes in and the heckles and the riffing and stuff. And so uh, that's what I did with this album. It feels like you're actually there in the audience, and there's a couple people heckling me. There's yeah. some yeah. riffs the going real on. Life stuff. Yeah, exactly. So I wanted to feel like like you were there. Where can people find that? It's out. Uh, so yeah, it's on iTunes, Spotify, um, Google Play, whatever you got, it's out there. Perfect. Yeah. Well, you were here last summer, I think I saw, I mean, I wasn't here, but May of 2016. Yes, you, you, we haven't met. I'm new. Yes. I'm new. I'm a new person. I've been they, here for Kelly, almost Kelly five Michael. months. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice to meet you. Officially. I noticed they've changed all the, it's like a new relationship. They've changed mm -hmm. all the pictures in the Take green. All the old <laughs> <sound>. <laughs> yes. Put the new ones out. Out with the old and with the new. Yeah. <laughs> it's all different. You don't know the stress this <laughs> has on a guy like that. You know? <laughs> well, what have you been up to in the last year? Uh, lots of stuff. So the new album came out and then uh, I'm working on a political show that we're, we're trying to pitch right now called We the People and where we take two comedians from the left, two comedians from the right and we have one big discussion trying to find oh a resolution gosh. in the middle. That have you shot some of that yet? Uh, done we, yet? We've done some live shows in Hollywood. <laughs> we're getting ready to uh, shoot something at the Comedy Central stage there in Hollywood uh, on October 18th. So if, if you're in the area, if you're in right. the area. come on out. That'll be a fun <laughs> concept. I'll be interested to see how they if they agree on certain things, how that... Well, that's the whole idea of the show is, come you together. know, because America's a hot mess right now. And what we need now is more than conversation. Mm -hmm. We need some resolution. And uh, clearly, they're not going to fix it the White House. So why not leave it up <laughs> to let the comedians? The, let the comedians <laughs> fix this problem. Yeah. That's a good idea to me. Dangerous idea, but yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so we try to agree on... We try to come to a resolution at the end of every topic. And then we play things like, uh, like, like share, delete, and uh, <laughs> at the end of it, and uh, fake news. So we tr I give them uh, three headlines, and they have to uh, see which one is the actual... Oh. Real <laughs> which story. is real and yeah. which is fake. And we've yeah. actually we fooled a lot of some panel members, we fooled some audience members. Right. Like mm -hmm. it's really tough nowadays yeah. when you, you're scrolling through your Facebook and you're like, I don't know if this is real. Right, you don't right. know. It's it, you know the country's in trouble when you're reading the onion and you're like, This might be real. <laughs> this right. this this is is Donald Trump, Trump do this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, the I Onion's wanna... a satirical website, by the yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, right. Well, I um, want to touch on this. In 2016, yeah. you went overseas with the Armed Forces Entertainment yeah. Tour. What is that, and what was that experience like? Uh, we did 11 countries in 28 days. It was amazing. Wow. Um, the first night, we actually stayed in Kosovo with the troops and their bunks and all that stuff. It was it was eye-opening. I mean, you, you, you think you know what the, what the military goes through, and you think you know, like, and we were just there performing. I can't yeah. imagine being there on a day-to-day -day basis like they go through. We were just mm -hmm. there temporarily, but we... We did 16 stops in Germany, Kosovo, Italy. I mean, it was it was beautiful, man. It had it to give great. you a whole new perspective of, of what happened. And they were so appreciative, yeah. and it was just so great to be over mm -hmm. there and be able to give back. And, right. and again, they were yeah. just they were so. It, it's just it's just great when you can get did, back. Yeah. Did you have a favorite place that you visited? Germany was Germany. amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, the food was great. It was so clean over there. And I, I, asked, I asked our tour bus driver. We were actually on the tour bus that Amy Winehouse had when she was touring overseas. Oh. And so we were on that. And um, uh, and so we, I asked the tour bus driver, I was like, why? If this place is so clean. Like, if you saw trash out like on a park bench, it looked like art. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, somebody must be painting this right. park bench. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> like, this is crazy. And he goes, yeah, uh, uh, for two years, um, you have to either do community service or go into the army. Mm. Everybody in, in Germany does that. Uh -huh. And I was like, why don't we do right. that? Community <laughs> service. Like, that, community so service. they actually care about where idea. they live. They actually yeah. care about their communities. They actually, you know, uh, clean up after themselves and pick up trash and, and, and watch their neighbors and look out for things. We're here in America in, in this uh, in this era that we're living in. We're like, I don't know my neighbor's <laughs> name. <laughs> I don't know. Michael, maybe 
idea for you. Well, Maybe yes, you should run for office. I, or exactly. I don't know about Local that. Let's put your brakes on that. <laughs> uh, you did something. We saw. Uh, you saw. We saw a skit that you did. Um, Bob Ross. Oh Bob yeah, Ross yeah. Skit. It was on Funny or Die. Yeah. How, how, how did this come about? Uh, <laughs> this is a great, this is a great sketch. So I remember watching uh, Bob Ross and he's so soothing, he's so nice. Yeah. And I remember thinking like, what happens if Bob Ross loses his mind? Like what happens if he loses his temper? It, and so it's a it slow starts, build. Yeah, it but starts it's... out good here. He looks happy, he, yeah. looks, he, looks, he looks calm and peaceful, but by the end of this beard. thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's my, great. It's what really type of feedback you get on this? You get some good, good response. Yeah, it's 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 getting really great feedback. Um, uh, and so I want to do another one, but I'm not sure yet. And so it's up on Funny or Die. You can check it out at MaloneComedy.com. I'm also doing um, some parodies of Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> I've been doing those on my Instagram and, and website as well. Where do you, so, get your do you dress up as? Her? I'm sorry. Do you dress up as Sarah? Yeah, That's yeah. A full, I ordered yeah. a pearl necklace, the whole deal. Yeah, the, whole. the wig, the the, uh, the pants get, suit. Well. It looks, <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut back to you. I want to see the facial expression you do when you when you play her. But tonight yes. and tomorrow, you got two shows each night, and then Sunday, seven o'clock, four nine three eight zero three six. Sarah Huckabee. Yeah, it's uh, all about the, it eyebrow. is the eyebrows, isn't it? She's I mean, always like oh, when wow. she's always listening. It's very. She's just like 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 you're gonna fight. You're gonna be like <laughs> what? <laughs> she has that, that little southern chance. drawl to it. She's like, our president! You know, it's like that little. It's all about the eyebrows. Uh, my, I can't even do that with my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> nice Michael, work. Yeah, oh my really gosh, that is intimidating. <laughs> Michael, good to see you, but have a good yeah, weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Get out and see so Michael Malone all weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, Michael. Uh, today is